Hello there, welcome to Wireless Solutions. Today we are diving into the essential tips and tricks on troubleshooting GPS problems on Android. Why do GPS problems occur in Android? GPS problems on Android devices can happen for several reasons. Software glitches, such as bugs or issues in the operating system or apps, can disrupt GPS functionality. If the location settings are not set correctly, like having a less accurate mode selected, it can affect how well GPS works. Apps might also cause problems if they don't have the right permissions to use location data or if they interfere with each other. Hardware issues or physical obstructions like a phone case blocking signals can also impact GPS accuracy. From basic checks and settings adjustments to more advanced troubleshooting techniques, we will provide step-by-step -step instructions to help you get your GPS back on track. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge and tools you need to fix GPS problems effectively and ensure that your device location services are functioning smoothly. If your GPS is not working on your Android phone, you can follow the solution I am going to show you in this video. If you are facing this problem, simply follow the solution I am going to provide and your problem will be fixed. Firstly, if your GPS is not working, try restarting your device. To do this, simply locate the power button on your phone. Press and hold this button until a menu appears on your screen. In the menu, select the option labeled Restart or Reboot. This process may take a few moments as your device shuts down and then starts up again. Once your phone has restarted, check if your GPS issue has been resolved. Restarting can often refresh your device system and resolve minor software glitches affecting the GPS functionality. After restarting your device, swipe down from the top of your screen to access the notification bar. Look for the GPS icon, which might be labeled as location or show a satellite symbol. Tap on this icon to turn on your GPS. If the GPS functions correctly after the restart, that is excellent news. It means the restart likely resolved any temporary issues or glitches affecting your GPS. If you are still encountering the same GPS issue, the next step is to delve into your mobile settings. Begin by navigating back to your phone settings menu. Once there, scroll down through the options until you come across the section labeled Apps, depending on the manufacturer and model of your Android device. This section might be listed under different names such as App Manager or Installed Apps. For users of Redmi phones, you'll find this option listed as Manager. Tap on Manager or the relevant section to proceed. You may need to wait a few moments for the list of apps to fully load. Once the list is visible, Scroll through it until you locate location or a similar term related to location services. This step is crucial for further troubleshooting and ensuring that your GPS settings are configured correctly. If you cannot find the location option in the list, look for the three vertical dots in the upper right corner of the screen and tap on them. From the drop-down menu that appears, select Show System or a similar option to display system apps. Once the list updates, try searching for location again. You may come across an entry labeled Fuse Location Provider or simply Fuse Location. Tap on this option to access its settings. Begin by stopping the location provider by selecting the appropriate option to halt its operation. After stopping it, proceed to clear its data by selecting the Clear Data or Clear Storage button. Once the data is cleared, navigate back to the main settings and search for location once more to ensure that the changes have been applied and to continue with any additional troubleshooting steps if needed. Once you enter location into the search bar, your device will display relevant results that include the location settings. Select the location option from the search results to access location service settings. This section allows you to manage and configure how your device uses and shares location data. Tap on location to open the location service settings. If you find that your GPS is not functioning correctly, try toggling the location services off and then back on. To do this, First, disable the slider or switch next to location so that it turns off. Wait for a moment and then toggle the slider back on to enable location services again. This simple action can often refresh the GPS settings and resolve minor issues. Next, ensure that your location mate is set to high accuracy. This mode enhances the accuracy of your location by using a combination of GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and mobile networks to select high accuracy. Find the option labeled Location Mode or Location Accuracy within the location settings and choose high accuracy from the available options. This setting allows your device to determine your location more precisely by utilizing multiple data sources. Go to location access within your device settings. In this section, look for Fuse Location Provider or a similar option related to combined location services. 
tap on it to view the permissions associated with it. Check if there are any permissions that need to be enabled for optimal operation. If there are no specific permissions listed or if everything is already enabled, that is fine. You can simply go back to the previous screen. Additionally, you might notice that your device is set to use only GPS for determining location. For improved accuracy and better performance of your GPS, it is advisable to switch to high accuracy mode. This setting uses not just GPS but also Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and mobile networks to pinpoint your location more precisely. Adjusting to high accuracy can significantly enhance the reliability of your location services. If you continue to experience GPS problems, try updating your Android phone. To do this, navigate to the About Phone section in your device settings. In this section, look for the System Updates or Software Updates option. Tap on it to check if, if there are any available updates for your device. Updating your phone can often resolve software-related issues that might be affecting your GPS functionality. If an update is available, follow the on-screen instructions to download and install it. Keep in mind that the process may take some time, depending on the size of the update and your internet connection. Since my device is already updated, I won't be performing this step. However, if you have not updated your phone recently, this could be a crucial step in fixing any persistent GPS issues you are facing. After completing the update, your GPS problem should ideally be resolved. System updates often include fixes for bugs and improvements that can address issues with GPS functionality. In conclusion, troubleshooting GPS problems on Android requires a thorough approach to identify and address the various factors that may be affecting your device location services. Issues can stem from software glitches, incorrect settings, app permissions, or even hardware problems. To effectively resolve these issues, Start by ensuring that your device software is up to date, as updates often include critical fixes for GPS related bugs. Next, check and adjust your location settings, ensuring that you have selected a mode like high accuracy for the best performance. Properly managing app permissions is also crucial. Make sure that apps requiring location data have the necessary permissions and that no apps are interfering with each other. Additionally, be aware of potential hardware issues or physical obstructions such as phone cases that might block signals. If, despite these efforts, GPS problems persist, a factory reset may be required to eliminate any persistent software conflicts. By systematically following these troubleshooting steps, you can enhance the accuracy and reliability of your GPS, ensuring that your Android device performs optimally in providing location-based services. And that is all there is on how to solve and troubleshoot GPS problems on Android phone. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you next time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.